previously on the Cowboy Way, Alabama. Build you a loop, Harris. If you get close enough, slide it on him. Let's just try to be real calm and easy about it. When a cow got into a neighboring field, Go on with it, son! The cowboys got her roped before things got out of control. I thought it'd be pretty easy. We just dog his cattle out in the middle of this field. Booger, you ought to know by now nothing about our job is easy. <laughs> I've got a whole day planned for you. This here is kind of a like an early birthday present. Booger's grandma celebrated her 85th birthday in style. Happy birthday to you. And got the greatest gift Booger could give. Booger, I really appreciate that, honey. I, I don't know what I'd do without you. Everybody here's ordering steaks. We're almost out of steaks. I know. I don't know what to do. We can't serve. Look at that big old ribeye. Mr. Somalia, you're going to have to cut them up for me. I can handle it, son. While there were many full bellies at the pop-up restaurant. How are we doing? We're not doing too good. We're well understaffed. We're doing all we can do. Ultimately, the guys decided the restaurant business was not for them. I think at this point, it's best just stick with what we know. We didn't just stick to being cowboys. I agree with you. And now, on this episode of The Cowboy Way. I'll watch you miss, and then I want you to roll that rope back up, scratch that tally pad out, and take some strategic notes on how to do this. The rivalry between Frankie and Hodge heats up. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hodge, Cody Hodge. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, Hi. Frankie Calloway. Nice to meet y'all. So the Cowboys set up a dating mixer. Well, Hodge is the one that's got it going on. Now, look at what he's doing. He's petting the horse. This could get interesting. Hopefully, putting Frankie and Hodge on their best behavior. Give me that dirt road. Road. I tell y'all too, what I heard enough out of y'all the past two days. Putting together the solar powered automatic gate. You mean a gate opener? Yes, sir. Cody comes up with another harebrained idea to make cowboying easier. Why would it work? Because I'm telling you, a bull's gonna come up there and just rub no, his sir. head on it and mess the thing up. Will the high tech cowboy finally see success? You ready? Oh, babe. I hear clicking, exactly. but I don't see no movement. I'll be willing to bet I got a wire cross somewhere. Heck, I got the horse clinic coming up. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask y'all guys if you didn't mind coming and helping me this time. I'm sure. Glad to help you, bud. The guys put their heads together. And there's one thing that I can fix for one person today. This whole day was worth it. And get a good job done at Booger's Horse Clinic. I have to like this, like you're driving a car to get her to kick up her feet. Maybe it's something. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. All right, just stay real still there, man. Well, that's something we definitely need to work on. You take that one, and I'm gonna take this one. Me and him gonna <laughs> go over here. We're gonna go back this way and clean out these woods. If y'all see anything over there, we'll holler. Just holler. We've been gathering cattle all morning, and we realize we are short one more cow. But not that big of a deal. Won't take us too long to get a rope and get her loaded. We got Frankie and Hodge helping us today. We got Bubba driving the truck. We decided we'd give his old back just a little bit of a break for once. Yep, well, things are fixing to get real, Hodge, and before I get any harder trying to do your job, I'm gonna shut these things, okay? By all means. And so you don't make any mistake on telling these guys who wrote it. He was in camouflage. I couldn't see him. No, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. Do whatever you got to do to get the job done. But first, get you a seat and sit back and watch. Hey, don't you worry about it. I will. I'll watch you miss, and then I want you to roll that rope back up, scratch that tally pad out, and take some strategic notes on how to do this. Well, I, I'd just borrow some pen and paper from you. Boy, he's getting ready. It's like a man taking his shirt off. Greg, go ahead and stretch out. Stretch it. Get some back. Boy, it's about 9 o'clock. If y'all two are two talking, let's go, boys. Oh. Take us to the cow, Hodge. Frankie and Hodge are sitting here bickering with one another, and all we got to do is catch a cow and get gone. Can we just get this cow rope, please? There's a cow track. That's fresh, too. Yep. Look at that track. Be close. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Hold up, Hodge, hold up. There she is, right there. Marsh. There she is. Come on, let's go back and tell them we got her. Okay? Uh -huh. Come on. Ease around her, don't, don't poke her off. Well, Hodge and I finally managed to find the cow we needed a rope hiding at the edge of the woods. We gotta get this cow flushed out of there. We got to block off any access she has towards that pond. We have to do it right. I mean, there's really no telling which way she could go. Hey, Hodge, Frank, we're gonna push her right across this pond down to you. Y'all spread out and give her plenty of room, but when she hits that field, y'all can go to her. All right, come on with her. 
Right, 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 right. Let her, let her, let her ease, let her ease. She go come right through that pecan grove. They can get it. They to her. Drive her up there high. Step up there high. Hey, Order for that man. Drive her back toward the pecan trees. Lay her back to where. Come on, come on. Come on, y'all, Come on, y'all, too. Come on. 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 Make it work, right? Hang on to her, boys! Wait, wait. Get her out of this pond! I really don't understand why the cow always wait, wait, goes wait, to the wait, pond. Wait, wait. I mean, at least old Booger got a rope before she got too deep. Are we done, guys? I'm wore out. Well, you've been sitting in a truck for four hours. He said that seat wasn't very comfortable. Yeah, man, I'm gonna go back to the chiropractor. I just got straightened out. Yeah, I don't care nothing about getting wet and cold again. If you'd caught the cow the first time, you wouldn't have gotten either. Well, I had a little bit of difficulty there. Well, one thing about it, guys, we got her in the trailer. Why did you lock your keys in the car for? Why did you lock your truck in my house for? I mean, you afraid somebody's gonna come out here and steal this? Do you this? think I was planning on locking my truck with well, my keys in it? I said, you know what, I'm gonna leave my keys here and get out and lock the truck. If I was planning on locking the truck, I'd have took my keys out of it. Well, no, you wouldn't. You hear me and Bubba's finishing from a long day at work, and there I go off and lock my keys in my truck. I'll be lucky if I ever hear the end of this one. Do you know what you're doing? You obviously don't know how to keep hold of your keys in your pockets. Grab that other side. Why are you locking the door over here at my house anyhow? Cause I'm scared of people plundering. Okay, I'm scared of people plundering. You know, I don't, grab that I, side I, over I there. I ponder, I don't plunder. Grab the, uh, grab that, there's a wedge over on the other side. Wedge. Grab it I have a feeling that this has happened to Booger before, judging by the little balloons that he's using to open the gap in his door. Truly, I'll never understand how he gets himself in these types of situations. I sure hope we don't tear his door up trying to get his keys out. Hey, just reach for the keys. I mean, they right there. If you had that big old long hook, you might can bend it around and get it. I ain't playing. It's long enough. Watch out. I, all I can see is the reflection of your hat right there. Well, get out of the way you were making. I want to be there when it happens. Watch out now. Uh, hold, uh, on hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Maybe if you turn your hook a little bit, you got your hook like this and it's straight. There you go, now you're doing something. Can I take you to hand twist a little out? Is that how you do it, man? Is that how you get twisted a little out like that? Hold it up, Bubba. Do it, Bubba, do it, son. Right, man, hey. I always knew you were a better car thief than hey. I was. Hey, don't see the boy do a man's job, all <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, Come on, get down from there. about it, I didn't even dent up your truck. Yeah, don't fall. <laughs> hey, you might have met your calling, man. Mm -hmm. You don't never, that's the most graceful dismount I've ever seen you make. Hey, man, when you're good, you're good. <laughs> Coming up. Frankie, I think you need a good woman in your life to take care of you. Not saying your mom's not a good woman, but she can't always be here. I gotta have somebody that can put up with me. Look, I mean, look at all the gray hair I put in her head over the years. I don't think you can find one to hang in there that long. Put your hand down, partner. Right there, see? That's why we're here at the clinic. When you pick up on this horse, that's the brake. You're kicking, that's the gas. Every time you hit the gas, you can't hit the brake, okay? Sonny. Ain't much spook that horse, is it? No. Here's a bell of hay right here if you need it. It feels real nice to have things getting back to normal. Our adventures in the restaurant, that's all behind us now. We're gonna get back to what we do best. What we do best is cowboy. You missed, Terrace. I can barely swing this rope, boy. I'm still tired from the middle of the night. Wanna pop up? That restaurant wore me out, man. <laughs> hey, kidding. you talk about when I went home, <laughs> son, I went to bed. And I wasn't in that kitchen like y'all was all night. I mean, I was back and forth, but I wasn't in that hot kitchen like y'all were, so I can't imagine how y'all felt the next day. I felt terrible. I still feel terrible. Like, I, never again do I want to cook 50-plus steaks. Heck, I got in a horse clinic coming up. Oh, yeah. And I've never had a problem with a horse clinic. But after going to the pop-up restaurant, it's got me kind of gun shy. <laughs> yeah. I ain't kidding. Every year I put on a horse clinic for people of all ages to help them get stronger with their riding abilities. But I'm feeling worn out after the pop-up. 
I'm just a little bit nervous this clinic could turn into an overwhelming event just like the pop-up. You better hope you don't have a turnout like we did at the pop-up restaurant. Yeah. Can you imagine a hundred little youngins running around with their mom and daddies telling them that they're the best horse riders in the world and all this other stuff? Good Can you imagine God. that? Mr. Booger! Mr. Booger! Can you imagine? You're probably gonna have 50 people with 50 different problems. Well, that's kind of what I'm scared of. That's why I wanted to ask y'all guys if you didn't mind coming and helping me this time. I'm sure. Glad to help you, bud. I appreciate it. I want me need some help. You gonna benefit anything with that clinic? Like some kind of children organization or something like that? I'm game for whatever you think if you see anybody that needs it. I tell you one that's really good to work with, and that's the Christian Mission. They're like a food pantry type deal. Yeah, people, I know about you know? Christian Mission. That's pretty simple. People just bring canned goods and stuff, you know, Perfect. items that will stay good for a while. I mean, that sounds that's good. That's a great idea, guys. Just think. After all that restaurant business, this horse clinic could turn out to be the perfect ending to the pop-up. Not only do we get to do some good, but we get to do it together. Let's get this horse put up and rest in these feds. Yeah, I'm gonna turn him drink. in here with these mares. You don't mind, do you? No, you ain't turning that stud in there with them mares. Yeah, I am, too. That's a good stud. He's going in with them mares. Don't think he don't have a little black book and keep up with that now. You better have your wallet, son, when that horse goes to breed mares. I'm turning him loose. Good fire going too. Hey, baby. Yep. How was work? Long. We missed you. I come home from a long day at work just to find Jacqueline Matthew in the front in the sweetest fire pit set up. It's little things like this that remind me why I married Jacqueline. This sure is nice, sweetheart. I can't believe y'all built us a fire. This is exactly what I've been wanting to come home and do. I know it's been a rough week. Man, the pop up restaurant, we really had high hopes for that. I am actually kind of relieved that you did not like the whole restaurant thing. Really? I I wasn't hoping for you to fail. I just didn't feel like having a restaurant fit into our grand scheme of things. I mean, yeah. I do respect that you tried something that's totally out of your element. Yeah. But I am kind of relieved. I am I just worry about that. Once you have a wife and family, your life changes, and you start searching for things that might lead you to a better state of living. Even though the restaurant business didn't quite work towards the means, maybe the next thing will afford us something better than just a trailer and a small plot of land. I'm just ready to have enough property we can put our own cattle on and maintain ourselves. This place here is just temporary, but I'm ready to have my own place back, you know? And I want that to work out for us too. But I've learned that things kind of fall into place over time. And like, I know it's disappointing to you that you didn't get Papa's place, but I just wanted you to know it's gonna work out and I'm perfectly happy where we're at right now, temporary or not. Well, thank you, sweetheart. Sweetest thing ever. I told Matthew my favorite thing about living up here is being able to look up and see all the stars. And he said his favorite thing. Tell Booger what your favorite thing is. My favorite thing is sitting on the wood and making fire and eating marshmallows. That's your favorite thing? <laughs> I appreciate all the sacrifices that Jacqueline made to be with me. I really do. But I'm going to provide for her and Matthew either way. Because they're my family now, and that's the married way of life. <sighs> I couldn't be more perfect, especially since y'all come along. Good summer in there this morning, huh, Boog? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I did too. So did Me I. Too. It's very nice. good. Matthew, you have fun at church today? <laughs> yes, sir. It's great to spend time with my mother, and I know Frankie never gets to see his. Jacqueline had to work today, so we decided we'd take Matthew to church. Now we're going to enjoy a nice piece of cake. Hey, Matthew. What? Will you share with me? Good deal. Thank you. Frankie, how are you been? I hadn't seen you in a while. I'm glad we got together and went to church, at least. Yes, ma'am. Been doing good, just on the road rodeoing. 
keep me busy and keeps money in my pocket and out of trouble anyway. Well, as long as you're staying out of trouble is the main thing. I used to be a bachelor just like Frankie. All I ever did was work, and I just went wherever the work took me. But now things has changed, and I couldn't be happier. You know, I think once Frankie realizes what he's missing out on, I think he'll change his mind, too. Booger settled down, and I'm very happy to see that. Yeah, I know. So. Now he's been on me about trying to settle down. I don't really get that. I'm trying to tell him to really come home and really just calm down and give him a time every night to go to bed and a good time in the morning to get up, feed the horses, read the good book, and do your thing. And man, it really feels great. Yep. And get home and cook for your wife and fold all really? the clothes and get Matthew a bath. Well, and... I was going to say he's walked the walk, now he's talking the talk, but just it just got a little stretched. <laughs> Which one? The folding the clothes or the cooking the dinner? The cooking the dinner and folding okay. the clothes. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I got carried away there. I never really thought I'd say this, but I love being a family man. I know I don't do everything around the house, but the married way of life sure beats the single way of life. Frankie, I think you need a good woman in your life to take care of you. Not saying your mom's not a good woman, but she can't always be here. So what are you looking for in a woman? I gotta have somebody that can put up with me. Look, I mean, look at all the gray hair I put in her head over the years. I don't think you can find one to hang in there that long. Frankie might seem a little rough around the edges, but he's dang sure a good guy. And I know once he meets the right woman, everything will change for him. It has to be the right person. They have to take care of him, and they have to enjoy what he enjoys. There is someone out there, and when the time comes, Look, he I've comes looked. from a generation of men who married late in life. He's a late bloomer. It's genetics. That's pit mama. It'll come in time. When you meet her, you meet her, bud. Wait till you get the right one, Frank, and you'll know it when you find her. Coming up. I done told you it ain't gonna work, but now I'm gonna show you. Ready? Oh, baby. I hear clicking, exactly. but I don't see no movement. I'll be willing to bet I got a wire across somewhere. I'm all about new technology. I'm all about saving time. Saving time is saving money. And I've had this solar powered energy gates in my head for a long, long time. Got another grand idea. We can go around and put little solar panel things all around each gate we got and have a little. I really think these solar panel gates are a great idea. And I'm finally going to try them out. What you doing, Harris? Boys, I'm glad y'all are here putting together the solar-powered automatic gate. Are you talking about? Solar-powered nice. gate? Yep. You mean a gate opener? Yes, sir. How much that thing cost? I think after tax, title, and delivery, it's about three fifty. Man, I think I'd rather get in out of the truck. Here we go again. Cody's got another harebrained idea that's supposed to help us cowboy more efficiently. But I'm willing to bet whatever he's attempting to do is only going to cost us more time. You have the solar panel facing south, where the sun hits it all day. The solar panel there directs energy to the battery, the battery to this. Harris, that'll never work. Why well, would it work? They, have y'all ever been through an automatic gate? Yeah, I've yeah. been through them, but I don't put yeah. them on pasture gates, because I'm telling you, a bull's going to come up here and just rub no, his head on it and mess the thing up. Oh, ye of little faith is what I would say unto him. For him not to believe that I can make this work, I'm fitting to show him I can make this work. Say you spend five minutes a day opening gate. Mm -hmm. They're seven days a week. That's 35 minutes a week out of your time. Good gosh. You, over a 50 year period, you waste eight months of your life opening and shutting gates. Mm. Here's a solution. Cody's given us his sale pitch on why we should be on board with this solar panel. I mean, his argument holds water, but I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's just humor him and let him try it out. This end mounts to the post. This end mounts to the gate. Hey, we can mount that sucker. Mm -hmm. Comes this way. No, it don't. I done told you it ain't gonna work, but now I'm gonna show you. No, no. Well, Booger and Bubba are both stand over here being skeptical about this deal, not thinking these gates are gonna work. And they're gonna eat them words, and they're not gonna taste good going down. I promise you. Look, what's all these extra bolts for? Extra. Listen, if it doesn't work today, it's fine. Rome wasn't built in a day. I'll come back and critique it, make it work the next time. Look around at that gate like you finna go check cattle. 
Right up there. Oh, you ready? Oh, man. I hear clicking, exactly. but I don't see no movement. This is just like his GPS. If Cody spent as much time cowboying as he does thinking up newfangled ways of making his life easier, his life would be easier. Now my truck's out of fuel. Now I'm standing out here in the rain. I guess I'm gonna walk back to the barn and get more fuel while you're working on the gate opener, okay? I'll be back in a minute. I'll be willing to bet I got a wire cross somewhere. trying to figure out what to do with all this food, so. Booger has his clinic in a few days. Oh, yeah. We could bring it there. It's yeah. for the charity anyway. It's for the Christian mission. That's fine. So people are, there's gonna be a ton of people there that can eat this. Yeah. Even though we run out of steaks at the pop-up restaurant, we still have a lot of leftover food. And Kaylee suggests that we use the leftover food to feed all the people at Booger's Horse Clinic, which I think is a great idea. The pop-up restaurant, never again. <laughs> That was, Not doing that, was that again. Stressful. That was too much. That was too much. I'm gonna see the cowboy and raising cattle. Yeah, but I will say there was a ton of people to show yeah, up. Yeah, there was a lot of people there. Which is amazing. I mean, obviously people have an interest in what you guys do and your beef and all that, but that's a lot of work. 100%. We don't have to worry about doing the restaurant because that's out the window. <laughs> I'm proud of the guys for actually seeing this restaurant I did through, even though they decided it wasn't for them. I gotta give them credit because they actually tried it. But most of all, I'm glad to have my husband back. The other good thing is, is that we're back home. Absolutely, yes. And we're not in Mississippi. It was tough. It was. And then we tried it, and it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And we stuck through it. And I'm so glad that we're back home. Me too. It's nice to have our own place again, mm -hmm. our own privacy, you know, mm -hmm. anything and everything. I just, I love being back. Back to being the old bubba and Kaylee. I wouldn't want to spend my life with anybody else. Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about the conversation we had with Frank and our moms. And Frankie and Hodge are both really good guys. It's about time they settled down. So I got it with a guy, well, and the girls. We called up all of our single lady friends. We decided to schedule us a meet and greet. They're good guys. They're good guys. I mean, they yeah. really are. You know, they got- You looking for a man that's full of life? I mean, Frankie's the one. Frankie is full of life, that's true. The Hodge, he ain't too far behind him, though. No, both of them got plenty to say. They good cowboys. Some sense of humor? Uh, somewhat good looking. Yeah, sense of humor. You gotta have that, you know. I feel like I'm selling two stud horses. <laughs> Heck, there's a lot of beautiful women here today. If I had this kind of turnout every time I wanted to sell a horse or sell cattle, I wouldn't have any problems. They should be here in a few minutes. <laughs> any minute they should be here. And believe me, you'll be able to tell which one Frankie is because he's elevated a little bit. <laughs> we are all happily married, but Hodge and Frankie, they're bachelors. So this mixer is a great idea because this gives them a chance to meet some eligible bachelorettes. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hodge, Cody Hodge. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, Frankie Calloway. Nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet you. I'm not as rude as this Happy. ugly guy. How are you, darling? <laughs> I think it's sweet that Booger and the guys care about Frankie and Hodge being settled down. I'm just not so sure that giving them this many options is going to help them find the one. Well, Hodge is the one that's got it going on. Now, look at what he's doing. He's got a woman over there petting yeah. on his horse. He's right. saying, ma'am, this is my horse. I'm Cody Hodge. I probably broke this horse. He's petting the horse. This could get interesting. So uh, what position did you play in softball? I was a center. I caught for a little while, and then I got bad knees, so they moved me out there, and then I got a bad shoulder, so. <laughs> oh, whoa. Just one thing after the other. I've had to have shoulder surgery. I'm sitting here watching Frankie and Hodge, you know, try to date these women, and it's really uncomfortable. I mean, it's kind of like seeing your school teacher outside of school or just watching a monkey try to ride a basketball. It's just, 
It doesn't fit. I'm gonna support him nonetheless. I mean, a guy that flirts like that needs all of the support he can get. Hey, man, if you don't mind, if you can move this plug out of my way, I gotta show hey. you this pretty little lady something. Be easy with the plug here now. That's I right think uh, I think to unplug it. This is a real <laughs> deal. Is it? What do you think, Cody? Well, we finally got these boys kind of kicked off, headed in the right direction. This so, is what wait, I Wait, wait, I want to know why this is like everybody's got to have a woman now. Because you finally got married tonight, everybody's yeah, got to have a woman. Yeah, that's the biggest <laughs> cool thing. It's what's happening. Look. Well, if he can do it, anybody can do it. Yeah. I said, boys, when you know it, you know it. And I said, it'll hit you when you least expect it. And that's the true story. I want you to watch Frankie's, what he's doing. He's using Matthew as bait. <laughs> and that is very smart. This man's done this before. I ain't sure if Jacqueline wasn't using Matthew as bait when she found me. Oh. But at the end of the day, that ain't gonna last long. See, he's paying more attention to that youngin than he is that woman. He now, Hodge, him. look at Hodge on the other hand. Look how smooth he is. Look at him. He's standing there nonchalant. Got the horse out Hanging there, the blonde headed lady talking to him real sweet. Heck, Matthew ain't just some cute puppy Frankie needs to woo a girl over with. That's my son. They're both using crutches right now to talk to women, and it's honestly kind of sad. One's, in, one's using a boy, the other's using a horse. What are y'all going to do to convince us to go out with you? Let us think about it for just a little okay. while. We'll get back with you. Let's come up. Because this something. guy's got more excuses, more issues. He just needs a little bit to think about something so he can find something he can beat me on. Really? You know. Coming up. Under, give me that dirt. See that daggum rope. I tell y'all too, what I heard enough out of y'all the past two days. I've had, I've had enough. enough. Y'all saddle up and ride on. I mean, you just have to do a little horse race. Really? Yeah, that's right. Look, don't hold your breath, okay? Don't shave your beard, okay? All these nice ladies come out here to get a date with one of these guys, and the only thing them two are interested in is each other. Give me that darn rope. You ain't gonna show her enough about these two right you here. You ain't gonna take her enough. Lord have mercy. These two are gonna break into fisticuffs any minute. The second you touch another man's rope, that's the beginning of the end. I better go split these two up for they kill each other. Under, give me that darn no, see that rope. rope. I tell y'all too, what I heard enough out of y'all the past two days. Oh, but who that's wrote his fault. I've had, I've had enough. enough. Y'all saddle up and ride on or something. It's embarrassing. There's a lot of testosterone in the air, and it's coming from them, too. It's actually embarrassing, really. Look here. Me and you fits have to do a little horse race. Really? Yeah, that's right. Me and you on a horse race. Yeah. This is a jibber-jabbering here because he's afraid of getting his tail whooped. That's the reason why he's going to stand around talking instead of showing up and showing out. I'm afraid of getting my tail whooped for a man that had to borrow your horse and oh. his saddle. I don't want to embarrass y'all. Hey. Saddle up and ride Saddle. on. Saddle up now. And ride I don't want to still have a horse race. Hey. Frankie and Hodge are some good hands, but we can't have them hurting each other over a girl when a simple horse race could settle this whole deal and nobody gets hurt. Let's go, You're come on. Up. 30 minutes to go. Have it. Come on, Bo, let's go. Ay, 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 ay. Matthew, come on. Here. Hey, get on your horse, boys. <laughs> Y'all ready? Let's roll. Let's do it. romantic that these guys were battling it out for the girl of their choice. It's definitely a conversation starter when someone asks, how did you meet? Well, I reckon y'all boys earned your day. <laughs> Didn't we? Hey, whoa, whoa. I, I lost the deal. Mine. What? Thank you. I lost mine over here. <laughs> Prince Charming. <coughs> Gonna ride it on hey, his magic Hey, say that again. Seat. Oh, Prince Charming over here. I One more time. Mine. Forget him, dude. <laughs> I hope that horse race settled all this stuff I've been hearing for the last three days. Hey, if it didn't. Well, you know, good and well, it ain't. What do y'all ladies believe this man deserved today? Yeah! Hey, yeah. he's your girl. Hey, well, you bet. Come on, baby. I got a spot right over here for you. Hey, Hodge. Hey, I sure enjoyed that race, man. Pleasure <laughs> winning <laughs> again. That's fine. Huh? I'll, get, I'll get you one day, that's all right. Will you? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Miss Macy, I may not have won the race, but do you mind if I still take you out on the date? With that effort, of course. You just come on up here and get on my majestic oh, steed here. 
See all that jibber jabbers for nothing. They both got a date with a nice, pretty girl. <laughs> Everybody wins. It's good they both got them a date. Yep. See, I was, it was a win after all. Yes, of course. Things didn't work out great the first time I tried out the game. But now I got the batteries charged up, I'm ready to show these boys what's up. Harris, uh. what are you doing? I am finishing up my final touches, boys. It kind of looks like you got it jerry rigged on there. You missing some parts? Several. Several parts. Several. We don't play baseball, so you don't get but two strikes with us. It ain't three. So what do you want to do here? All right, this is my final prototype of a solar powered automatic gate. Are you ready? All right, show us what you got. Before I do it, it's been a long journey. It's like it's some kind of memorial or something. Yeah, I mean, we need to take our hats I'd like off to say there. a few words if y'all would give me the respect of that. Go ahead. what? Proving a point For to you what? two is like proving a point to a fence post. You can't explain to a fence post why it's a fence post, because it's a fence post. When these gates work, and I'm sure they're going to work, I can't wait to see the reaction on Booger's and Bubba's faces. I can't wait to see it when they swallow it. You know that. Cody, you were right. Gentlemen, are you ready? Aw, oh, come on. I wish Harris would just get a move on it. I got plenty of stuff to do today, and me watching a gate not open is not one of them. It ain't even open. Shh. Oh, Hold tight, gentlemen. I just needed a couple days just to kind of work out some kinks. Had a little hitch in my get along. Now I got it out. We're ready to roll. Look what's about to happen. It's going to be glorious. And I do mean glorious. I'll be dang. Well, I'll be. You did a good job, Eric. It gets way better than that. Gentlemen, I love it when a good plan comes together. Yes, sir. Harris, I will say, you were right. OK, I'll give him this one, but it better not go to his head. Harris, you were right. Harris, you were right. Harris, you were right. Man, you, you're the man, Harris. His head's going to pop off that head in a minute. I keep saying it. Coming up. What's going on with your horse, ma'am? I have to mm, like this, like you're driving a car to get her to kick up her feet. OK. Maybe it's something. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Now she's decided she wants to go somewhere. Yeah, she's ready to leave all of a sudden, wasn't she? See ya. Hey, Boog, how you doing, buddy? Hey, buddy, how you this morning? Good. Today's the day we're putting on the horse clinic, and I can't wait to see who shows up for it. And I hope the ones that do leave here today feeling more confident about their horsemanship and roping skills. When everybody starts really showing up, we'll see how many we got. I'm going to kind of go through everybody and figure out what they got going on, like what kind of problems they're having with their horses, you know? And I've got some kids really wanting to learn how to rope. They want to get better at roping. If you see something we need to do, just point and holler. OK, sounds good. Oh, Grab your horses. It means a lot to me to have Cody and Bubba donate their time like this. Well, Booger, I got the barbecue grill set up over there and the donation box ready to go. Especially since I arranged for the Christian mission to come by later on to pick up any canned donations we might get. It sure feels good to be helping whenever we can. Everybody just kind of line up. That'll be easier for us all. You know, everybody's been contacting us for weeks now about having problems with their horses. And everybody here has a different problem. And we have all different levels of riders, and we have all different levels of horses here. I'm here to help you, you know what I'm saying? I want to give my knowledge to whoever here needs it. If there's one thing that I can fix for one person today, this whole day was worth it. It's looking good out there. There's a handful of people, but not so many where you're getting overwhelmed. What's going on with your horse, ma'am? This is JoJo. Mm -hmm. I've had her since she was six years old. OK. Very gentle, but she won't pick up her left leg. I have to like this, like you're driving a car to get her to pick up her feet. OK. Maybe it's something. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. All right, just stay real still there, ma'am. Now she's decided she wants to go somewhere. Yeah, she's ready to leave all of a sudden, wasn't she? Well, that's something we definitely need to work on. Ma'am, what's going on with your horse? What kind of problems you having? 
Um, she won't catch the cow when I'm going, and mm -hmm. that's about it. How old are you? Eight. Eight years old? Man, you ride her a lot? Mm-hmm. You enjoy riding? Well, that's good. The experience ranges from novice to advanced, but every good rider knows if you need help, just go ask for it. Your horse and your behind. Thank you for it later. Put your hand down, partner. Right there, see? That's why we're here at the clinic. See how you was pulling on your horse and he wouldn't go? When you pick up on this horse, that's the brake. You're kicking, that's the gas. So you have to, you can't, every time you hit the gas, you can't hit the brake, okay? All right, now keep your hand down. Now, if this horse starts going, when you get ready to get there, stop him. Correct him, put him down. Now give him a boost. Pull your nose to the left. Pull your left hand, pull the nose to the left. Keep pulling, keep pulling, now kick. Drop it on the line, hand down. Ta-da! Good job, hand. Can I mash him back forward? Mash him up there and stop him. And just work him back. Oh, he's already getting better. Quit. Is he getting better? Yes, sir. Is that horse wanting to walk off? See saw them hands. See saw them hands. Work it. No, no, no. We're going to work this horse's mouth. Work it. Oh. Work it. OK. Work it. See how it's getting higher? Mm-hmm. We'll keep working on it, and eventually that head will come down. Stop. See how that horse started to get off here? Then you quit. I hope a lot of riders are able to walk away from this clinic with more confidence in their riding ability. There you go. And just right horn, left horn. All right. We're all good horsemen, but I'll let Booger do the horsemanship type because that's what he is. I'll teach these youngins how to rope a steer. If I was roping a calf, I would throw down on him. I'm roping a steer. So do this. See how I threw right horn? Get comfortable. Drop it on out there further. Drop it on out there further. Rope that horn. Ah, oh, oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Good job, buddy. Let's do that again. Like, make your tracks and stay in your tracks. You just want to see the corner of his eye. All right. This has been one heck of a day. Coming up. My goodness. Look at all that, Booger. I know. Isn't this amazing? Here comes the Christian Missions, man. Here they are. Cool, cool beans. Let's load them up. While the horse clinic's winding down, I'm getting all the leftover food from the pop-up restaurant ready for all these new and improved horse riders. A better horse and a full belly, and that's a win-win. If it tastes good, I cooked it. If it tastes bad, Dakota cooked it. We failed at the restaurant business, but that's made us hungry and want to be bigger and better. It's really stressful when you take big risks in the cattle business, especially since we all have new young families. But hey, that's what we've got to do in order to support our families. That's what we're going to do. We're going to pull our hats down and go forward because that's what being a cowboy is all about. Hey, baby. Hey. What you doing? Last time you rode up to me like that, we, got we just met. Uh, <laughs> Let me out of here real quick. Let's go okay. take a walk. It's too pretty a day spending this arena. I, I got agree my pretty with you, wife sir. out here. My Lord have mercy. Yes, I realize the clinic is still going on, but most of these kids are already taking a lunch break. When you spot a pretty lady eyeing you from across the arena, and that pretty lady happens to be your beautiful wife, hey, there ain't a whole lot else in this world that really matters. It kind of feels like when we were courting back in my rodeo days. Look how pretty this is. You bet. And the color of that water is beautiful. I know we don't have much time to talk, but I'm just so proud of you. I really am. Really? I swear. It's... You started Full Moon Cattle and you just, you stuck with your guns. You 100% stuck with your guns. And I, and I wanted to be there to help you more. I really did. I, I felt bad that I couldn't be. I, you know, I made an oath to Booger and Bubba. At the end of the day, a man's word is his bond. You know, I'm so proud of you guys for just stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something like the restaurant. That was a huge undertaking. Yeah. <laughs> huge. Like, some people would have thought, that you and I would have never left the arena as far as like competitors, you know what I mean? I mean, what were we, rodeo kids? What do you even call it? The only thing we had to worry about is if we won enough money one weekend to get through the next. <laughs> now we have children, mortgages, land, cattle. Yep, and this is much more natural, right up you guys' alley. For sure. To see a group of kids that want to learn, 
it gives me hope. It really does, like, because Carter's coming up, and whatever he wants to do, I'm gonna try to be the best coach I can be at it. Right. If it's roping, we're gonna be good ropers. If it's basketball, God forbid something like that, we'll try to be the <laughs> best. I will hire the best. I mean, whatever the guy wants to do, we're gonna be right behind him. I love taking risks, because at the end of the day, if you don't take risk, you're never gonna advance. The main reason I don't mind taking big risks is for my family. I want my family to grow up comfortably, and I want my son to step into an empire that me and Misty have built together so he can be better off than I was. And I was off great. I had great parents. But you always want to do better for your kids than was done for you. I can accept failure. Everybody fails one time in their life. What I can't accept is not trying. Well, come on, baby. Let me give you some calf rope and lessons. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could add to my bag of tricks, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> I learned you had a rope. <laughs> Tie one down. Well, just rope first. We ain't gonna tie one down Why? just yet. You can't. How do you do your leg? Do it. Show me. Okay. Hang out that stirrup. Wait for that yeah, slack to pull you out. Oh. Wrong way. Uh. I'm a left-hander. My goodness. Look at all that butter. I know. Isn't this amazing? So many people were so generous. The food we was able to feed them was just our way of thanking them for helping others that's not as fortunate as us. Here comes the Christian missions, man. Here they are. Cool, cool beans. Let's load them up. I was a bit skeptical when Cody told me that he was participating in this horse clinic so close to the pop-up, but today was a great day. Everyone had fun. But most importantly, a lot of food and money was donated for a great cause. Yes, sir. That's all right, That's good. Oh, he's helping get this stuff over to you. Here you go. Hey, go hand me one in right here. Matthew, you go help. I'm so proud of Matthew and the big boy that he's becoming. He loves to help out wherever he can, whether here or at the pop-up. I'm truly looking forward to watching him grow into an amazing man like Booger. Thanks again, man. Yes, we sir. appreciate it. Anytime very, very we can much. help. We could have done more. Well, hey, this is a tremendous offering and a blessing to us. Every little bit, every can counts, that's for sure. God bless you, man. Thank you. God bless thank you. Thank you for guys. what Thanks, you do. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Matthew. You're welcome. <laughs> well, have a great day. You, bet, you too, man. sir. We'll do this again sometime. Sounds Thank great. All right. Yep, we'll be in touch with you. All right, thanks. Yes, sir. Bye, Mr. Horse. That was awesome, man. <clears throat> that was awesome. You know, when you're single, it's pretty hard to see past Friday night. Now that I got a family, you know, it's not all about me anymore. You know, we got Matthew's future to think about. This whole world, it ain't too forgiving. Me personally, I've never gained anything by not risking anything. That's all my greatest accomplishments come from a big risk. Courage, that's being scared to death and saddling up anyways. That's just like going to the restaurant business. You never know what's gonna happen. Taking risks is all we know. Guys, what do you say we have a toast? Yes, sir. Here's to a heck of a good day. <laughs> Here's to a great friendship and wonderful wives. Here's the family. Here's to us. Amen. Amen. Here we go.